Oh, I nice. Yep, now you caught a yellow perch. That's what kind of fish that is. Yep, that's a yellow perch. Yep. What's that? Curtis out. See the stripes on them? Yeah. It's a yellow perch. Like it? Yeah. Do you want to try to get the hook out for me? Yeah. See the hook right here? So what you do is you just kind of wiggle it out. Try to wiggle it out. There we go. Good. Yep, just leave that there. Three. We're gonna release him. There he goes. Wanna try casting again? Try to do it again. Three point three. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another fish on. It's a hard one. Keep going. Good job, Luca. Yeah. Yeah, baby. This is a bluegill. All right, it's a big one. Yeah. All right. Oh. So we've caught in bluegill, yellow perch, and we're just using. We're just kind of hitting this open area where there's a lot of away from the plants that are in the water. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Luca says hi. Luca's nine years old, fishing with me today. I got four fish. Four fish now, three bluegill, one yellow perch. And daddy caught zero. Zero. We're using the Akuma. This is the Salilo rod. I think that's how you say it. This is more of a pan fish rod. Pair with the Akuma Voyager reel. This is a travel reel. So I have some some down rods right now, I'm trying to go for some both and and while we're waiting, we're just catching some smaller fish using night crawlers. I think we can catch like 10 fish. Yeah, we've already caught in four. We're on vacation right now in the Virginia Beach area. This is a brackish water creek. I have fished here once before. I'll leave that description, the video link above. And we're using just very small pieces of a worm here. I'm just kind of baiting it for Luca and Luca's just kind of reeling it in. The last one was the hardest. I don't know, it's probably one of the bigger bluegill we caught. Perfect. So... It's a little open area away from all the plant debris in the water. Another fish. I think this is a bass this time. Yeah, baby. Look at that bass. That's a little hard. A little harder? Bass fight good. This is called a largemouth bass. It's a bit hard, but it's the same. This is a largemouth bass. Let's get a picture. All right, I want you to hold, hold on to the rod. Number five. It's number five. We gotta start showing. What? Mommy, all these fish. Okay, hold it like this. One, two, three. Got it. I feel like I felt something. Uh-oh, real, real. There you go, buddy. There you go. Whoa! Giant bluegill. Look at that, man. That's a big one. Look at that. That's number six. Number six. Here you go. Hold it. Pull the rod up. Let's reel this up a little bit. Dude, that was crazy big bluegill. It's bleeding. That's because he's gut hooked. What is that? He's a hook is in his. Oh. It's okay. Here, you can hold on to it. 
All right, so we've caught like eight fish in this little honey hole using night crawlers. Bass, yellow perch, tons of bluegill. There's grass carp in here too. Let him run. Woohoo! There we go. That's Daddy's second right? Yep. Yeah, that's your first. No, nah, it's like my third. Third fish. Your first? It's just funny how like that's nine fish. They're all just kind of hanging around this little area here. We got a lot of weeds and overgrown grass here. Well, this is an open area where it's just like a muddy bottom. We've, we've seen a few grass carp in here and it's coming over again. Yeah, people try, Dad. See if the grass carp, maybe, let me try to put this near the grass carp. I try, when I see this, I just try to hurry up my way. Just go that way. Come on, fishy. Come on. Ooh, that's a little dink. Ooh, yeah. yellow perch. What's that? A little yellow perch. How do you hold it again? Here we go, a little yellow perch. No stuff on me, Dad. Great place to get some bait. This, this stuff is like... Yeah, just leave that there. Nice job. Close. Close, close, close. 